One length away, Max Almighty is around the favourite Express Dancer, who's just held up in the centre now at the moment for Pike. Over on the inside, Muskets at Dawn crept through to be running seventh before the turn, and then Wicked Hunter taken wide from Illusion of Light checked, and Dandy find the inside, main instigator. Leads by a length and a half, just got away at the top of the straight from Dad said Shostakovic. Auntie Zelma weaving through, and then came Happy with Kendall Express Dancer not in the race, and Max is coming down the outside with Wicked Hunter. Hunter. Max Almighty and Wicked Hunter come at main instigator. Max Almighty, Wicked Hunter, they split it. Wicked Hunter, Wicked Hunter. From in the pre-race there that this horse was way over the odds, but I don't think any of us expected to see him that far back. Uh, it wasn't in our game plan, but, you know, we drew pretty awkward and uh, the plan was to sort of uh, tuck him in somewhere with quite a lot of speed in the race. Um, but unfortunately, Steve was sort of, um, well, not unfortunately, uh, Steve was forced to sort of go back, right back, and um, he still sort of wanted to run a little bit hard uh, uh, in certain sections of the race, but uh, once he got home out the outside, he sprinted hard and, and was able to uh, reel the pace in and uh, got up and won. Now, I know the race is only fresh, but let us into the mind of a trainer. So this is a horse that we've seen run very well out in front in, in races at Pinjarra and even just behind the leaders. We haven't seen the horse go this far back, but then you see a performance like this on a classy Saturday. Does that change the game plan at all, or you just get happy because now you know you have a horse that can adapt? Well, you know, pre-race, I said to the owners that uh, our, our plan was to sort of tuck in, preferably midfield, but uh, or even fraction closer, but... Uh, that did, just didn't happen because uh, he would have been caught out there deep. So Steve was uh, yeah, forced to sort of go f further back. And um, I said, if that plan works, I said, and he hits the line well, well we might take him out to 14 and uh, see how, how he performs at that distance. But, um, yeah, the reason for uh, yeah, obviously trying different tactics and was uh, the fact that we'd taken the blinkers off and he'd been going out pretty hard in his races. He had in his previous campaigns sort of been you know, always forward and led or sat outside the leader. But uh, this campaign, he's wanted to run a bit fierce. So um, we've had to sort of just, yeah, just tinker a little bit with his gear. And and uh, by uh, by taking the blinkers off, it's uh, it's just been enough to sort of knock that edge off him that he wants to run and been able to sort of get him to relax and then finish off with a good run. Can you make it a double with uh, Malibu style, a back-to-back -back double there? Because the horse was very impressive over the 1,000 metres and does race very well over 1,200. Yes, he does. You know, he's a quality horse and his run was good last week in the wet conditions. Um, you know, he does like a bit of dampness in the track, but as Steve said he just found it a little bit tough to uh, to actually get uh, pick his feet up. You know, he said he felt like he was getting bogged, but, uh, um, you know, I mean, he came out well at the run and I think the horse is uh, in good order. Uh, trading day, there's a bit of money around for him, change of trainers. I think that horse will... Uh, uh, he's always had a bit of quality about him, so I think he'll be tough to beat, but, uh, you know, the 1,200 probably probably suits us, yeah. Cracking race to finish off today, Neville. Congratulations with the win. Excellent, thanks. We'll grab Stephen Parnham now as well, and Stephen, credit for the ride there, because you seem pretty keen to, A, track Max Almighty, but, B, make sure you didn't let Express Dancer out. I don't know if you were thinking that throughout the run. Yeah, uh, that's uh, pretty much how it was, you know. I was, um, Max Almighty seemed to be going pretty well, and Joey was riding a good race to sort of hold um, Willie horse in a pocket and um, enabled me to sort of do the same as I went around him so um, it sort of gave us the opportunity to get into our um, through our gears and, and let down strong I thought he, he finished it well. Were you surprised with the way that he ran on from settling so far back? Um, I, it was a bit of an experiment you know we didn't actually plan to get so far back uh, he did draw wide however and it, it was forced on me uh, to get cover to be where I was but um, he did probably want to go a little bit keen initially um, I think it might teach him later on down the track and I think it might just sort of open up a bit more, bit more for the horse Mate, it was a brilliant ride, it was certainly noted around the turn, uh, your plans there, they certainly worked, a great dive at the line and congratulations on the win Yeah, no worries, thank you